on that game or was your assessment? Oh look, uh, I think we did okay in parts of the game but I think for, uh, there's areas that we need to work on and, and that's a bit I think going forward so if we work on that before the start of the year we'll be alright. Um, so Harry, um, a, uh, it, you didn't expect to play today uh, I guess given that Michael and obviously um, Chris you can win goals but a good performance for yourself, how did you rate the game? Oh well, oh, First time for the seniors, you know, it was pretty scary um, going in, also with an injured knee. So, look, the boys did pre pretty well considering that we had a fair few players injured as well, coming back from injury as well. So, um, yeah, happy with myself. Tonight's game, uh, what were your thoughts and what's your assessment of the game, to game, to game today against basketball? I think we done quite well. I mean, um, started off well in the first half. Um, compared to the other games, we've improved. Um, yeah, there's a lot of improvements, a lot of positives. So. And I still like we still have a lot of players out missing, um, come back from injury or have just gotten injured. But um, yeah, obviously, or well, hopefully they're not too serious. But yeah, once we get a full team in the park, it should be different. Um, so Andy, big news I guess for the club with you re-signing um, back to the club. Uh, what are your thoughts on rejoining the Knights? Um, yeah, it's good. Um, I'm happy joining obviously the Knights. Um, I don't think there was a decision to join anyone else. Um, you know, obviously I've had a number of times where I've come back and uh, the first option is always Knights. And um, yeah, glad after the experiences I've had in Asia um, to be joining the Knights and hopefully have a successful season with them. Obviously, the last time you were here in the Knights kit was two years ago back in the VPL. Um, can you tell us a bit about your journey since then, playing overseas? Yeah, I, um, I came back to Knights after being in Asia and had a second half of the season stint with them. And I uh, was quite successful for myself and for the club. But uh, two times we've been like runners up, so there's still some uh, unfinished business which I feel I haven't um, done in the club. So I'd rather finish on a high one year, or you know, throughout my career finish on a high at nights, and then hopefully bring them a title home. Definitely, and I guess can you talk us through your decision to come back to the club? Obviously, you've probably had offers from overseas and all that sort of stuff. Can you tell us the discussions you had with Stabber and how it all came about? Your, your other stint back at nights. Yeah, I was playing obviously, you know, in India and uh, before that in Hong Kong. And uh, after the Indians didn't finish, I, um, I came back home and obviously just needed time to relax after being away for five, six years and, and you know, back and forward. And um, yeah, there was a, a couple offers here and there, but, you know, I was just waiting for the right one. And uh, so far, the right one didn't come. So uh, it's a good time for me to be at home also with my family and uh, my wife spent some time at home. And, uh, and then yeah, if the, the right time comes, the right offer comes, you know, I can head off again and, and, uh, and do it again. But you know, I'm glad for the nights that I'm here and I'm, and I'm happy as well to, to try and help them and like I said, do something good for them and, and make it a successful campaign while I'm here. I guess you know more than most, given that you've played with him before. Um, Andrew Barisic, signing the club again. Um, how much big of a player is he? What impact will he have? 
Yeah, he'll have a big, big impact. You know, you need that presence up front, someone to hold the ball and obviously score goals. You know, we've got a lot of players like Steve Ball, um, my brother coming back, who can also score goals, but someone like him, you know, with that experience and given where he's played, you know, you need that in the team, so it'll be good. What sort of message does Stavis say to the boys? Oh, look, he's. He wants to. Uh, he wants improvement. He wants winning. Like that's what we all want. We all want to win. So I think uh, he's tried a few things. A few boys in different positions. Um, we're playing a few boys from the reserve team just to see how they go. So that's about it, really. Speaking of the injury, um, can you tell us a bit about that and what sort of stage you're at? Because I know you could be off to have surgery soon. Yeah, on second of Feb, I'm going in for um, medial meniscus uh, clean out. So they'll put me out for about six, eight weeks. So um, yeah. Then after that, just come back into rehab and make my way back into the youth and hopefully seniors once again. From a personal perspective, what are your hopes and goals for the, um, the season ahead? Yeah, I've always, you know, every time I come tonight, so I want to want to score the goals and uh, obviously win. Um, they know that. Uh, I've been here, I think, four or five times already. Um, every time I come, I give my 120% and, you know, try and score every game and, and don't stop till the last whistle. And, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm looking to score goals every game. and. Uh, as I always say, I, I want to be top goal scorer of the league and top goal scorer for the club every time and everywhere I play, it doesn't matter where I play.